You're not done saying them, Tony. I know, but yeah. What? What? It's fucking break time already? It takes me four minutes to smoke a cigarette. No, an average cigarette takes seven minutes. Okay, that's that's a proven fact. It's a seven they they diabolically planned it out that way that it's a seven minute cigarette. So every time you sit on your fucking ass, every time you sit on your ass smoking a cigarette, that's seven minutes of my time and you're only supposed to get two fifteen minute fucking breaks here. right here, okay, for as long as you've been sanding that. And I've only got this much done. So you need to keep on getting on, bud. Because those doors that you sanded, they're the perfect one. Right it took you two fucking days for you to do them, and I had to do them all day this morning. What? So don't tell me that those are done. And I'm not even going to look at that because I already know it's done. I see marks and scratches and everything else. You know, this is supposed to be a concourse restoration, and all you're doing is making a fucking Earl Shives job out of the situation. Who's Earl Shives? Look it up. So well, that is why I squeezed Hold on a minute, buddy. See this right here? Yeah. Now I'm going to go over here and get a new piece of paper. Yeah, of course you're going over again. What's this right here? That's why I squeezed All right, hold on. What about right here? Look at all this right here. This whole fucking side needs sanded. Look, right here, dude. Okay? You're not working, Tony. Okay, seconds. you still got about four minutes. Put it out and smoke it later. Well, that was a good waste of a cigarette. I always finish right there. I'm done. Why? Why do you finish there and throw them away? That's what I did. But cigarettes cost a lot of money. You used to keep your tobacco. You used to make cigarettes out of that. What happened? Then you're getting rich on me? Well, I got a job. I make five bucks an hour now. Yeah, that's right. So you need to get over there and earn that five fucking dollars now. Yeah. Yeah. Do the concourse job that my friend Pete's paying you five fucking dollars to do. Well, you Get what you pay for. <laughs> yeah, and there's also another saying that goes to that. You pay what you get. You pay what you get. Yeah. You pay for what you get. And and Same right time. now you ain't making you ain't doing nothing special that motherfucker. The, the that's doors making, that me, were sweet. That's making me say you're worth more than five fucking dollars now. Those doors were sweet, we know. The doors were sweet after my friend Pete got well, that one. No. When I left here yesterday, they were, they were sweet. Go show everybody your fucking hat. Go show it to them. There, show it. There you go. Turn around. There you go. Okay. So, would you get your ass over, your dunce ass over here and start sanding? Quit wasting my five bucks an hour. That's another thing. Why are you sanding with reading glasses on? So I can get that. You are fucking joking me. And that's why I had to go over it. You gotta wear reading glasses to sand? Yeah. So what happened, bud? You, you, your mom died, you had this network system going, and some diabolical plan that somebody ripped off $30 million from you, or whatever, what happened? I had a server-based computer network that I yeah. used for work. Okay. Because I worked alone. I did everything myself. I right. did the bookkeeping, the selling, everything. So I needed a computer in every room of my house, so that way, no matter where I was at, I could work. Sure. So mom dies. Your mom dies. Yeah. And then I'll meet you the same year in November. And about that time, I said, okay, hold on a minute. I painted your car before your mom passed away. No. Because I remember you coming over here telling me how your your stepdad murdered your mom. Mom and died January 9. I met you in November 9. That's what I bought the Z. -Mon. Okay, so anyway, get to the story. Your 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 dad or your stepdad, now he's he has uh, hacked into your computer. Okay, so here's the part you want to hear. Okay. Okay. So I'm really good at networks now, being a computer administrator. I can manage the server. Right. So I start seeing all these things that are going wrong with my server that aren't supposed to be happening. Huh. So I start Digging around. Now the server, that's Digging like... on the server is just a day, it's an all day, day after day job. Right. 
So I keep learning, keep digging, so I get to the point in June of 10, I find out that somebody is on my network. So someone's watching you. When you're watching porn, they're watching it with you. <laughs> right? So that's really what upsets you the most. Is you, somebody is spying on you. Yeah, well, what did you do about what did you do about it, bud? Well, so what I did about it was. Now this was because your mom died, right? Yeah. This is that. Okay, so you know See, this. My father, his best friend, stole about fifteen million dollars from me. So you know this for a fact. I know this for a fact. Fifteen million. Yeah. But you're working over here for five bucks. Yeah. Ha! Huh. Okay. Go ahead, bud. I'm so, listening. Right. So and I'm sorry, and you're gonna move to Colorado one day. To Vail. Yeah. Could be anywhere. Could be North Dakota, okay. Virginia. So anyway, go ahead. I didn't say soon, I just said that's your dream. You're kind of like me, you want to get the fuck out of here and go. Okay, so $15 million down the drain, that was your money. So, when mom died, those guys called me and I found out what happened. So when they wanted to I think to it's bullshit, but we'll let them keep me. talking. Instead of, you know, having a guy stay down around the house. Or okay, so hold on. So you're street. telling me they're watching you through the computer. So you got you uh, got you got cameras on your computer in every room and they're watching no, you on the computer. No, I did have one webcam that they would turn on, yeah. So they actually so weren't turning on. They're watching what I'm doing, they're watching it. Not one of my personal. Oh your activities on what, the computer. Yeah, the documents I'm For what? I mean you're selling food, but it's not like not you're, anymore. I quit the business in uh, March so of two thousand ten. So what are you doing now with your you're so in March of 2010, I quit the food business to go full time on the server and mom's problem. So mom's found, problem? Problems I found is the, the walk. The, oh, murder. murder. Murder first degree. Yeah. Okay. So now you're investigating that and what happened with all that angle? Well, what turned you into the weekly loser? That's what I'm asking here, bud. When we first met you, you were saying, I'm a loser. My mom got murdered and. I married a drug addict prostitute and never had sex with her. And... Okay, get to the story. What's... Well, I think that would be enough to be a loser right there. Don't you? Okay, yeah. So what's up with the fucking other story here, dude? So the, so the uh, dear old dad and his best friend hired a hacker to do uh, internet. Now you know this. How can you, how can you prove that, bud? I did. It took a while. Now hold on. Is this dear old H dad or dear old stepdad? Which dad are we talking this about? You got two dads. This is L dad. You got two dads that are that this are uh, diabolically conspiracy theory hating you and doing everything in their power to get rid of you. So well, which is it? Dad one, the dad one, which is a real dad, or dad two, your your fake dad. Dad one. Okay, so does he know that dad two killed dad uh, mo mother one? Yeah, <laughs> she does. Yeah. So he knows that too, and he believes yeah. that. Yeah. So why is he watching you? Why isn't he on your side of the ball and instead of on the court with the other side? I don't understand. Well, you know, it's called self-preservation. He didn't really care if I found that word. But he's on your side, though. Well, as far as, you know. Now, he, now he's, hold on a minute. He's with you. He believes that uh, sta uh, dad number two actually murdered Bob number one. Right. So he believes that 100% It dirt. took me a year to convince him of that. Now, how was she murdered? Was she brutally murdered? Violently murdered or murdered in her sleep and she didn't feel a thing? Lethal cocktail of prescription medication. So it was a cocktail? Of uh, medication. Okay, so. And she was unaware of So it was a lethal. So, okay, I'm sorry. Now you're using, uh, let's say, detective language, a cocktail of drugs. She was ingesting these drugs and didn't know what she was being. So it's basically like, uh, it's basically like, uh, 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 what's that guy's name on the movie Psycho? Yeah. Yeah, feeding uh, rat poison to the victim. Yep. Yeah, and then slowly dying. Yep. And then using the shirt. So that's what was happening. Now, yep. okay. And then her body just came out. So you know that? Did you get a, a autopsy done, a DNA no. test? And see, I didn't know any of this was going on right when she died. I found out about it after she was already. Now she had property right here in Texas, a nice big juicy house up here in some fucking extravagant joint somewhere that she was living, right? And you were supposed to get that house. I was supposed to be yeah. yours, or you're the curator of the. Executive. You're the executor of this suite, you might say, and they sold it from under you. They swindled it from you. So you basically, legally, you are the uh, the executor of the estate, but they still sold the house without your authority. They got all the money. How can that be possible? Weekly loser, fucking dude, dumps. Pretty easy, actually. Now. 
I would like to ask uh, the audience, but can I ask the audience a question? Sure you don't mind if I do. Yeah, sure okay. okay, keep saying it, bud, because you're not done. All right, what I want to do is I want to ask anybody, is anybody out there a lawyer? Uh, does anybody know anything about this type of law allegations? And, and is, is Weekly Loser telling the truth here, or is he giving us a line of shit? That's the question that we need to answer today. It's called... I had to ask him. I had it's to. called inheritance hijacking. Inheritance hijacking. Now, did you just make that up, or is that actually a real bonafide fucking law? No. That's something you just made up. And a lawyer in Florida made it up. Okay, so there is actually a lawyer that used that. Inheritance oh, yeah. Hijack. Yeah, he's got a web, he wrote a whole book. Oh, he's got a website, he's got a book about it, and he people have bought it. a book called Inheritance Hijack. Oh. So is there like people out there that are doing it? I mean, is this a common thing in the world Absolutely. when money is involved? Well, stealing from dead person is real easy. All you gotta do is substitute. So basically, you're saying you lived a good life until mom died. <laughs> And now all of a sudden you're over here with losers. I earned a you're piece over here of living in the business. Yes, yeah. I did. So now, so now you've, you've thrown all that in the trash to be over here at the SWRC prison farm. Yeah. Sweating and sweltering in the Texas heat and uh, getting paid five bucks an hour to stay out of the hood I and love it. I love it. looking like a filthy pig that you are. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So you gave everything up to be a buck. No, I didn't give it up. It was taking from so why can't you go back to it, Tony? Why can't you do that? I'm sorry, I called you Tony, weekly loser. Have you ever heard a story where the guy is like, you know, defeated and he comes back another day to fight and he wins? I'm waiting for my day. But when do you think that'll be? Like 10 years from now, 15? No, you know, everybody, sooner or later, everybody is goes. They're gone. Soon. So what is your plan now? What's your plan? You're just laying low and yeah. hanging. You're hanging out over here at the prison camp. And, yeah, you want uh, to give your enemy a false sense of security before you assault and go. Okay, so you were in the army too? No, but you're I talking, you're, you're I talking studied strategic, history, but you're, you're talking strategic planning now. Well, so that's false. Yeah, I that's, thought maybe you know I you might have been. A, I thought maybe with all this experience you got in that that that, that category, you might have been a general or something in the army. You know, strategically planning to to infiltrate on your enemy and take him down. Business is war. Pete. So we definitely can't call I you. I in college. So we definitely can't call you a Navy SEAL. No, I'm not. It's okay. I just want to make sure about that, bud. But I'm a highly trained businessman. Are you really? Oh yeah. Are you sure? So if you were to break, if you were to break free from the chains of the SWRC prison prison gang, uh, the gang chain here, chain gang, what would you do? If my friend Pete said, Tony, I don't need you no more. Get the fuck out of here. You're free. What would you do with your life? Well, uh, there was a hesitation, bud. Yeah, because I've got so many things cooking. I didn't know what to talk about. <laughs> Motherfuck, did you say cooking? Yeah. Uh, like, they're in the broiler, they're, uh, they're ready to burst, or you got them in the frying pan, and they're oversaturated with grease and uh Well, yeah, whatever you do, cholesterol. strategic. <laughs> Activities. There's that word again, strategic. We heard you that again. You have plans for multiple yeah. scenarios. Okay. You got an exit plan, you got an attack plan, you got a regroup plan, you got all these plans. So basically, you're plans going to war. Match. Basically, it's going to be World War III yeah. with Tony, the lose weekly loser, yeah. and family. Well, yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, so now it's 2013. Here we are, 2013, uh, in the sweltering heat of the summer. Uh, we're locked down at the prison camp. Uh, this happened, uh, let's see, three, four years ago. How long is it really going to take for you to uh, uh, accomplish your strategically worn out uh, battle plan? Okay, to take this little soldier here and move him down here, and this little soldier here to move him there, so you can block and barricade this guy here, and then BAM! The atomic bomb finally goes off. How long is that going to take? Well, you know, it's been four years. It took him loser. a year to stage for D-Day. But it's been four years. It took him a year. To okay, stage that's a year, not four years. You well, know what? Finished. You know what I think? I think that uh, you ought to write a book. I already You're got not... two. I got two books. I've already read. Do you? Yeah. Bring one in tomorrow. Let's read a couple paragraphs. Nobody reads my books. Yet. Wow. So they're actually diaries. It's a legal thing. It's a legal thing. Well, okay. Okay. Am I in your book anywhere? I, I, I mentioned names in this book. If anybody finds out about it, they give court order and file injunction. I won't be able to publish it. You sound like you should have went into law. You 
should have been a lawyer. I'm now, did, did, let me ask you this. Is my friend Pete and they mentioned in those books? That, well, I got... Because if I am, I want a little bit of that royalty money. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have no money. They're not published yet. You're still, in, you're still in battle. I got a third book in my mind, and yes, you're in the third book. Okay. And the first two books left. If you win the lottery, do, do me a favor. I don't play the lottery. Well, if you ever win the lottery, do me a favor. I don't play it. If you ever win the lottery, do me a favor. I don't. Okay, but if you do. For my friend Pete, he is such a nice guy. Let you work over here for five bucks an hour and hang out in this area and saturate all of the, uh, the wonderful conversation and memories that you'll carry the rest of your life. Give me half of that fucking money, okay? I told you I'd get you Give me half of that money. I told you I'd get you new Buy me a fucking house in Colorado so I can get the hell out of here. But you don't let down. nobody give you nothing. Because I'll give you new this is the situation we got with my friend Pete. Until the prison chain is broke, I can't leave. I am stuck here with a ball and chain, okay? They don't need that. And by God, it would be really great if I can get the fuck out of here and go back to Colorado where I belong. I this is Pete, my I'm friend Pete, your friend you. Pete. Uh, you know, we this started talking baby. about Tony, but guess what? Do we really give a rat shit? And if it is all actually true, let's see proof about all that. Hey, come here, man. Come on over here. Now, do you see the finish on that? Are yeah. you looking at it real close? Yeah. You see how nice and glistening it is? All right. It looks almost good. No, it doesn't. We're gonna go look at yours right now, okay? Because if it ain't like this, you got a fucking situation, pal. You're gonna be docked some fucking money. If I find any spots on here, you get docked two hours pay. Is that fair? You dock me a whole day if you find spots. You sure? Whole day. You sure about that? Whole day. Okay. What happened right here? What what happened there? I don't, I'm not doing There's a spot. I'm not doing edges. But you're not done? You gotta get that fucking edge done, okay? You never told Let's me. Let's go. Edges. Get her done, bud. Okay. Look, what about this right here? What about that edge, I right? No, look it. right here, right here. Right where busted. it is. Busted! Yeah, busted, busted is right. Get it done and quit, quit thinking about your fucking mom's funeral. Goodbye. Yeah. Busted! And that is what it should look like when you're all done. And in 1 16th the time that Tony Baloney, weekly loser, decided to get his done in. He'll be sanding on that piece of shit tomorrow.
just be Here we go again to learn some more stuff from you, no clue. Charlie the Cloud is here to stay. And my friend Pete, your friend Pete, let's just be gonna show you how to do it right. <laughs> Hee 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 h